take a look at 12 signs that a narcissistic person is always going to be the victim. They're always going to play the victim, no matter what scenario, they are the victim. And it's not a case of they are the victim because they are genuinely a victim in something. This is the way they think. This is the way they perceive the world around them. So when it comes to a narcissistic person, the majority of them aren't going to take responsibility, if not all of them, will not take responsibility for their own negative behaviour, for their own suffering, for their own choices. Anything that negatively impacts their life is always going to be somebody else's fault. So somebody who never takes, never takes responsibility usually has that victim mindset. Nothing is ever their fault when they make a mistake, when things go wrong. It's never their fault. Nothing is their wrongdoing. And when somebody never takes responsibility for their own behaviour, never admits to making a mistake, these aren't the kinds of people you want to be around because they're going to take it out on you as to why things aren't going their way. When somebody reverses a car into a tree and then says, that's not my fault. Well, whose fault is it? A narcissistic person will blame the tree. They'll blame their partner who's sat at home. They'll blame their parents. They'll blame their friend. They blame everybody, which is the third sign that someone is always going to be the victim is they blame everybody else for everything that's going wrong in their life. Not only do they look for others to blame, they also tend to look for others who are suffering, but not with that sympathetic sorrow, not with a willingness to help them, but they gloat. They gloat about other people's misery. They gloat about other people's pain. They live in the past, which we are all capable of doing. However, narcissistic people live in the past. If they were the most hard done to person you could ever meet and they are pleased when somebody else gets a taste of what they had to live through because they're not willing to recognise other people's suffering because they haven't got the compassion to see that. Instead, they're looking to recognise the suffering of others that they've experienced within themselves and they will turn around and say, now you know what it feels like. They offer no compassion. They just turn around and claim, now you know what it feels like. They make excuses for their behaviour. Those people who always make excuses for their own behaviour are not going to change their behaviour because they don't recognise it. They don't take responsibility for it. And as they don't recognise and take responsibility, they're not going to change. Instead, they're going to make up excuses to gaslight other people so that they can get away with their behaviour. They're always negative. Yeah, life's hard, life's tough. We can all have our moments. They always see the negative in everything. They're always looking for the negative. They're always looking to bring the negative to an event. They're always looking to create that atmosphere, to create the drama, to bring everybody else crashing down. And once they've brought everyone else crashing down, you'll see their mood shift. They suddenly become happy and joyful because they've made everybody else miserable. And they're pleased that everyone else is suffering. They hold a lot of grudges against others, often for the very things that they did to other people. We're human, we're all capable of holding a grudge, but it's usually because someone has actually done something to us. We can recognise we're holding that grudge and we can work through it and process it. Narcissistic people don't recognise they're holding a grudge. They believe they're quite right in how they are destroying somebody else's life. They don't trust other people. 
they'll happily go looking through your things while you're not looking but they will have their things under lock and key because they do not trust other people now we can have all been through a situation where we lose our trust within somebody and then we start to wonder who on earth we can trust and then we have to learn to trust within our own judgment and our own instincts again and it is a massive learning process however we can recognize it and once we can recognize it we have the ability to change it narcissistic people are that cynical that they believe that everybody is out to get them and they can't trust anyone which is why they look to outdo people but they don't see themselves as the problem to them that's everybody else's fault for being untrustworthy so much self-pity they're so hard done to everyone has turned against them everyone has hurt them they have so much self-pity that it is pitiful and you do feel sorry for them and you do try to help and support them. And we can all go through moments of self-pity of why on earth is this happening to me when one thing after another hits. However, the reality is things are hitting and we can see what's hitting and we can work through what's hitting the fan at that moment. A narcissistic person looks to blame everybody else and get everyone else to deal with their rubbish for them. Envious of others, always envious of other people's success. Whatever that success is, whatever it is the narcissist is envious of within others. Yes, we can all be jealous. However, we usually look at something and think, wow, wish I had that, wish I could do that. Oh, I wonder what they did to achieve that. What can I do? To achieve that you don't want to take it away from the other person you don't want to see the other person suffer a narcissistic person does they want to take it from somebody else they want to see somebody else in pain they don't care they like the empty too and they believe they're perfect they believe they're absolutely perfect and they do no wrong a genuine victim questions themselves doubts themselves works on themselves, sees what they could do to improve. A genuine victim sees that they're not perfect, ruminates and thinks, oh, perhaps if I'd have done this differently, if I'd have said this differently, perhaps if I'd have worked harder, perhaps if I'd have done, they take responsibility. Narcissistic people don't because they believe they're special, they believe they're perfect. Nothing's their fault, it's everybody else's fault. And those passive aggressive behaviours, the procrastination, the sulking, the silent treatments, the stonewalling. Yes, we can all procrastinate when, when life gets on top of us and we have to sort of work through what we have to work through to get motivated. Again, we can all struggle, we can all react to things differently, we can all need time just shutting ourselves off and we often lead to making life worse for ourselves by failing to turn into work because life's hitting that hard and we just don't have the mental capacity to get up and deal with it and then at some point something hits and we recognize we have to change something to make life work for us and not against us narcissistic believe, people believe that everyone needs to change for them everyone should suit them everyone should walk on eggshells around them everything one should do as they please they're not going to come home and say i've had a bad day i just need a bit of space they're going to cause that intrigue so you give chase to try and find out what's wrong and they're going to be offended that you gave chase yet if you don't give chase they're going to be offended that you didn't give chase so you can't win with them because they're going to fail to communicate their issues with you. Instead, they're just going to blame you. Yes, we can all be a victim of something. Yes, we are all more, more than capable of acting in these ways. The difference is being able to recognise our own behaviour. Narcissistic people often fail to do this. They're too busy blaming everyone else for their behaviour. Being able to recognise our own behaviour, question ourselves, as annoying as and as irritating as it can be when 
we're, why did I do this? Why didn't I do that? When we're punishing ourselves, that actually opens the door to change. Asking ourselves those questions gives ourselves the answers that we need. Narcissistic people don't ask themselves those questions. They blame everybody else and they play the victim to get the sympathetic attention that they believe they're entitled to. Any signs you noticed of a narcissistic person playing the victim, please add those into the comments. Thank you very much to all the returning subscribers and your continued support with the channel. It's greatly appreciated. If you are new to the channel, I'm this for sure. This channel is all about narcissistic behaviour. To give you more understanding of the people you might be dealing with within your life, how to handle yourself around those people if you cannot go no contact and different methods to find what works for you to help you understand and overcome narcissistic and emotional abuse. If you do find the information helpful on the channel, please do subscribe. If you are looking for further help and support in understanding and overcoming narcissistic and emotional abuse, I do have several online guides available and those teachable links are in the video description. If you're looking for someone to speak to or have partnered with BetterHelp and their sponsored link is also in the video description, go out there and create the day that you deserve because you do deserve to have an amazing day. Bye.